What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Tia Leron, of course. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a beat for somebody like Lil Baby or so some uh, 4PF type stuff. So, you know, it's gonna be like the usual strings, piano, the, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Stop playing. <laughs> you, you always playing. Stop playing, though, for real. But now, though, for real, you put to get straight into it. No time wasting. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so. For our first sound, we got this um, string preset from Contact. It's a staccato preset from Session Strings, and it sounds like this. So, you're probably thinking, what the f? Like, you know, did I just do? Um, yeah, so this, this thing, it carries the whole melody pretty much in my opinion, and it might look a little bit complex, but when you break it down uh, in its layers, it's kind of quite simple, I'm not going to lie. So, the first thing that I did was I, I made this part right here, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and just show you how it sounds. Pretty much first thing that you want to do is just find like a nice sounding like triplet pattern that you can repeat in all the bars right so I literally just got this part right here and it's like you know the notes is pretty much like consistent throughout the whole thing it's like just three notes or four notes and I did this little so with contact right um, if, if you play with the velocity it's gonna have like an accent note which is this note right here so having like you know, different accent notes in the melody can help it, it can, uh, help it sound like a lot more um, like dramatic for real. So first you want to have like your main layer, and then you want to go to right here, right to add your bottom layer. This is like to give it the rhythm, the dun 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 dun, right? So when you add that. Yeah. Play with the velocity too, cause like if you have it all constant, it's gonna sound static. So when you play, you know, have like some notes going higher, some going lower, it's gonna create a lot more um, bounciness to it, right? Bouncy. So pretty much. Then I went to the uh, bottom to get the bass notes, and I didn't want it to go too crazy, cause I don't want, I don't ever like my bass going too crazy for real, for the most part. Yeah. So it sounds like. Constant and the same throughout. I didn't even change the velocity, the velocity on this one because like I said, I didn't want it to be complex. So then when we get to the second half of the melody, we got this part right here, which I just kind of like, you know, it's pretty much your purpose on how you want to do it. I just wanted some ear candy for real, right? So, um, I think it's like, it's like that. I just wanted to have like you know like I said just something to give it that more dramatic feel to it so yeah pretty much that's the, yeah that's what I did <laughs> for effects I just have an ROM on it I love using ROM for a lot of my instruments it's like a very good reverb plugin um yeah it's not too much to explain there next I'm going to next is gonna grab this little horn sounding thingy it's the CL grandma's AM radio it sounds like this So with having that, it sounds pretty much like, it sounds almost endemic for real. So that's why I wanted to have that. For that, I just um, panned it to the right to give like the whole melody some space to it. Cause, um, well, well no, here's, here's the thing, right? Uh, for me, I love to pan my instruments <clears throat> like more than like the usual amount. Cause I feel like it helps me create space a lot more easier. If you know what I'm talking about. But yeah. So the next thing I went to next is again, and I grabbed the trap piano and it sounds like this. It's very simple uh, pattern. Yeah, so for that, I literally just copied the same uh, pattern from 
the uh, the horn sounding um, preset onto the piano. You know, just, just keeping it simple. We got these um, plucks from Nexus again, and um, it sounds like this. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing. Um, for this one, I want it to sound like very like light in the background, so that's why I added the, um, the plug. So I copied the notes from the violin, and instead of having it play in triplets, I wanted to have it just play on every uh, one and fourth quarter note, so it doesn't sound too complicated, and so it doesn't um, get in the way of the violin. So, for this effects, I got on, uh, for, actually no, I'm, I'm gonna go through it. So. Without effects, it sounds like this. Right. But then with it, I got a free chorus on it, a phaser, a pancake to have it go in between each um, left and right channel, and then the EQ to cut out the low mids. So it's very subtle, but I think it makes all the difference for real. So, so far, we got this. Now, you probably already heard the choir on accident, but yeah, we got a choir from Nexus. It's the LV Epic Choir, and it sounds like this. Usually, I don't like to use like choirs and BSTs because like they don't really sound too realistic. But from this one, though, it actually sounded pretty cool for real. Um, Nexus is actually, bro, I'm not gonna lie, it's a, <laughs> it's a good investment for real. But yeah, this one I got a um, stereo enhancer to make it sound wider, and then an EQ to cut out the low mids and boost them in the highs. Um, you know, having choirs and your melodies, <laughs> you got a little baby type beat right there. I'm not gonna lie. So next, we got a bell which is a bell and then we got we have the synth bass for synth basses for these kinds of melodies i love using the growling move bass from omnisphere it just sounds so clean and nasty at the same time but it sounds like this So, yeah, like, it's not really much to explain there. Of course, you know, we got the same thing from the bass of the uh, violin or from the brass copied in right here. And then for the end part, I just want to have some, you know, some accentuated slat notes to give it that more dramatic feel to it. That's like a four time I use dramatic. What's, what am I on? But, yeah, moving on, right? We got this accent from the producer grind uh, accent kit, which sounds like this. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, it's fire. I had a, a, a reverb on it, none too complicated. Um, I will say one trick too is when you, if you ever use accents, like accents make can make a, hu a huge difference to your beats, right? Like this one literally just sound like this. But reversing the accents though can give a whole different feel to it. So. Next, right? We almost done. We got the uh, perk loop from the producer grind drum kit. Sounds like this. Right. So for that, just a half time. Without a half time, it sounds like this. Right. But with half time, it sounds a lot darker. And then last but not least for the melody. We got this um, guitar lick from just a grind uh, cadence drum kit. Sounds like this. And so.
So I forgot to press record when I was actually doing the drums, but it's all good though. This is what I got so far. And after I show you that, I'm gonna just go ahead and try to finish the beat, and yeah. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my socials and everything like that. Let me know what you want to see next. And yeah, 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 yeah. Peace out. Drink some water. Peace.